What's up? This is Matt Brown, and today we are going to be discussing the live hacking event that I competed in way back in April, and uh, was fortunate enough, uh, alongside my teammate, to win that event. So we're going to kind of do a little bit, a little bit of a different video today, where I play a video that's recapping this live hacking event put on by Hacker One, uh, and we're going to. Uh, just uh, pause it throughout the way and discuss some of the things that happened. So, here we go. From an event recap perspective, we're about to smash cut from this clip right now to a montage of really cool stuff that hasn't happened yet. Would you please set up that clip? Yeah, so you're about to see people who are probably the smartest people you'll ever meet see them pumped, you're going to see them nervous, you're going to see them stressed, you're going to see them collaborating, they're going to be breaking the equipment apart, putting it back together, seeing what they can do to make the internet safer for everyone. So, uh, yeah, it's the intro to the video, and as you can see, this event was hosted in uh, Los Angeles. I competed remotely in this event. That's my biggest regret of the entire event was that I didn't show up in person, uh, but just had some personal reasons why I couldn't fly out. Uh, but uh, thank you uh, to Hacker One uh, for this amazing opportunity to compete in this event, um, and I was able to do that remotely and uh, have a great time and interact with a lot of really cool people that I then, uh, again, very graciously, I was invited to uh, the next event that they hosted in Las Vegas. And so that event, I uh, got to meet, I got to go in person, I got to meet a lot of the people that I interacted with in the first event, and that was an awesome time. So. Uh, what is a live hacking event? Uh, it's a kind of an outgrowth of the bug bounty community where, uh, you know, bug bounty, right? Uh, where companies pay money for vulnerabilities that you find in their devices. A live hacking event is kind of that concentrated into an event format focused on one customer. And as you can see from the video title, the customer in this case was Amazon. And uh, the targets for this event, what was in scope, was a number of different devices that Amazon owns and sells. I can't talk about the specific devices that I found vulnerabilities. I can't talk about the specifics of the vulnerabilities that I found. That's kind of how uh, the bug bounty deal works. But you will see throughout these video clips, you'll kind of get some hints if, you're, if, you're, uh, if you observe carefully some of the devices uh, that we got to interact with and got to find vulns in. This is Amazon's third live hacking event with Hacker One, and we are very excited to be here. Obviously live hacking events have this on-site component. But the live hacking event, it's not just the, the live part. Yeah, and because some guy didn't show up in person, uh, we have to cut the video this way. So uh, you can see here uh, a picture of my desk. Uh, I, I did send some video content of the things I was doing uh, to uh, the devices during the event. Again, I can't talk about the, the super specifics of those uh, uh, of those devices, but you can kind of see one of them here on the desk. And in the same way that I do in these YouTube videos, I was showing people during the event some of these different methods that I was using to, uh, in this case, extract, uh, do, do a firmware extraction. No different than uh, we've done in other videos uh, during, uh, yeah, in my, in my YouTube channel. There's a lot of work, a lot of effort that goes into that ramp up before that so they can start hacking on the devices or the apps, the widgets before the live in-person portion of it. These events are... Yeah, that's a good, other good thing to note, is that for all live hacking events, there's a two to three week uh, window of time where everyone is working on the target that is in scope uh, remotely, and then they fly on site to the location. So uh, for that first part of the event, everyone is, is doing this uh, remotely. And that's just kind of what they're alluding to there. Are amazing, but what I find most often where the, the customers that are kind of blown away, they did not expect as impactful bugs, is not a sense of fear. It's a sense of camaraderie and like, oh my God, I learned so much by finding this. This is the coolest thing ever. 
At Amazon, we treat the security and privacy of our devices very seriously. These types of events give us a good sanity check of our own internal security processes by bringing in new perspectives from a variety of different researchers. Amazon is one of those customers that really knows how to work well with the community. They care about the relationships. They listen to the hackers. They take the findings. They bring them back to their internal team so everybody can learn from you know, what the hackers find. Um, what, what, what is happening here? Where are we? We are at the pier. So one of the cool things they do, again, uh, big regrets uh, not going, <laughs> not flying out in person uh, to L.A., is they always, they always uh, you know, show you a good time when you're there. So I think they got to go uh, to the Santa Monica Pier, and they also, you'll also see, like, in the next clip, they do, like, a Hollywood tour and stuff like that. So, yeah. Looks like it was a good time. Doing the carousel. On a scale of one to a hundred, how prepared do you feel for tomorrow? Yeah, I think normally there's like either like one or two hardware components associated with a live about. So this being my first live hacking event, this event was obviously just like made for me and my skill set. Uh, like you know from my YouTube content, my professional and uh, freelance focus is on hardware security. And this is the first event they ever did where kind of the, the, the focus of the event was uh, the hardware scope specifically. Um, yeah, so that was a, uh, again, just a very nice alignment of my skill sets and the event that allowed me to, uh, bring home the win. But it's the first event I've been to where it's like all hardware. The barrier to entry to hardware is much greater than a web app. It feels like there's a lot of people on the cusp of finding a thing if only, if only the wins are kind of bigger and like harder sought but also hard to come by. Hardware hacking is really difficult. Not a lot of people do it. And I was getting a little bored and burnt out with traditional web and API style bugs. I like to challenge myself constantly. So there is a hacker named Random Deduction, who's just a brilliant hacker that I'm extremely jealous of, quite frankly. I met her in Las Vegas, a super good hacker. I'm not surprised by his leaderboard whatsoever. When I saw the two people there, you know, first and second were teaming up, I knew they were going to crush it. I was doing my early recon and happened to run across some of Matt Brown's videos on YouTube. And I said, hey, like, we've got to get this guy in the community. Can I bring him on as a plus one for this event so we can hack together and see how we do? And once that got approved, it was just, it's like we've been working together for years now. The output is amazing. So, this is why I wanted to do this video, really as a thank you to you that watch this YouTube channel, have subscribed, have, uh, you know, shared my content in the past. If it wasn't for the YouTube content, I would not have been invited to this competition. So, random deduction, you saw kind of her uh, featured there. She was my teammate in this competition, and she found... Uh, found me through one of the YouTube videos I, I've done. If you uh, are familiar with my content, I did one video where I kind of did a teardown of an Amazon Echo device and got to, uh, you know, extract the firmware and do some uh, do some analysis of that firmware on one of my uh, videos. It's one of my you know more viewed videos out there, and she found that piece of content reached out on Twitter, and uh, the rest was uh, history, as they say. So, again, the whole reason I'm doing this video is to say thank you to you who uh, made that possible for me to have this opportunity. I think we'll all have fun together, and that's the point of all this. So, uh, happy hacking, and have a great day.
yeah, I think they didn't have enough content of, of me since I didn't show up in person. So that was actually like ripped from one of my YouTube videos with my permission, of course. So it is with further ado that I present our first female BH. Yeah. It's a lifestyle, right? The thrill of it is when you can actually go apply it and take it and find those bugs or take it to that next level and actually try to win something. And so, uh, yeah, you can see there that uh, my teammate, uh, she uh, got to uh, get a belt. And I was honored also uh, to receive, uh, since uh, we worked together as a team, I also got a belt of my own. So this is a very prestigious award uh, in the Hacker One live hacking community. Um, it's more or less effectively uh, the, the, the award for winning uh, one of these live hacking events. And I didn't really realize the weight behind uh, this award until uh, I got to talk to some incredibly smart people uh, in Las Vegas when I got to go in person to one of these live hacking events and just how uh, highly respected this award is. So uh, very honored to have received it in my first uh, live hacking event that I ever participated in. So uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, surreal. This whole experience has been, uh, yeah, let's keep watching. That's where the, the competitive nature in me comes out. Yeah, I'll say too, to do this against Amazon as a target was uh, an incredible experience. I, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure like you watching this video, wherever you're at in your journey as, you know, security researcher, uh, you know, embedded developer, whatever, whatever it is in your career track, right? I think we all have those moments where we experience imposter syndrome, right? We're like, hey, like, I'm just like pretending that I know the things I know or can do the things I do. Um, and I'll say too, that competing in another live hacking event, I continue to experience that, right? I, even after winning uh, against such a, such a hardened target like Amazon and finding vulnerabilities in those targets, I still struggle with that. So uh, just, I don't know, it's just an observation that even once you get to the top like this, uh, and, and, I, and I heard this from multiple people in Las Vegas who are some of the top hackers in the world, that they still feel, feel this every day. So I don't think that ever goes away. And so you just have to learn to, to, to live with that feeling and understand that there's always gonna be something that you don't know and it's just an opportunity to learn something new. Yeah, this is my first time here. Welcome. Yeah, why? Well, thank you very much. This is the second one for me. 20 plus. And it's my first live hacking event, so first hacking event, period. Uh, hung out with this guy, Hexpone. Follow him on Twitter uh, in, in, in Vegas. Hung out with him. Really cool guy. The value of working with HackerOne, bug bounties in general, and the live hacking event are something that's near and dear to my heart. Like Amazon's team is like really easy to work with. And like getting to use all the hardware stuff and test it, it's been super fun. I love Hacker One. It's uh, been a big part of like my personal growth and uh, they've made a huge change not into my life, but also I feel like a lot of people that are here. Uh, if you don't uh, subscribe to him on YouTube, that was Naham Sec, uh, way farther than I am in his uh, YouTube uh, growth and career and he also crushes it in Bug Bounty. He he did really well. I think placing definitely in the top 10, if not top five in Vegas. So uh, you should definitely check out his content. Thanks everyone for the great experience, the invite, all my old friends I met, the new friends, the- Okay, that guy. Experience, the invite, all my old friends I met, this guy, John, Jonathan Bowman, he is a full-time doctor. 
And then he, like, just on his own has learned to be one of the best bug bounty hackers there is, you know, in his free time when he's not, you know, just busy being a doctor. So just incredibly smart people uh, that I've gotten to meet in this community. The new friends, the, the team. Hacker One, what's up? Big love. See you the next event. Signing off. In three, two, one. So uh, that's it. That's the video. And uh, we'll just reiterate what I said kind of in the middle there. I want to thank you, my viewers, for making this all possible, presenting me with this opportunity to go and compete and win in this event. Uh, and I hope to pay it back to you with more video content. I know uh, I had a moment there where I was kind of on a break. I was uh, moving to this new house. I was <laughs> competing in, in some of these live hacking events that took up some of my time. But I am back. I'm here to make some cool content, build out the lab a little bit more here, and uh, have a good time together. So thank you for watching, and have a great day.